All right, good day, folks. Today we're going to take a look at February cattle, live cattle. Should be ticker symbol LEG21, LEG21, depending on what platform you're trading. And right now we're trading around 113.85 on the Feb cattle contract. That's the current front month. And we're looking at a potential long opportunity to the upside. Typically, I prefer to be a buyer at discount value areas and sell more at overvalued areas but we've got the market kind of stuck here in this range from approximately 116 117 to about 106 so we'll call it about a 10 handle range but we've got a pattern here that is shaping up that we could move to the upside notice we have this little triangle or pennant pattern and basically this move suggests that we could tip we could potentially go up to approximately the 124 we'll call it the 125 area and that would take us back up to these last major highs here in January. Notice we've got these highs right here that would take us right up to that area. So that would be a good logical area to put some limit orders in there to take profits. Now, we're also looking at this from a seasonal perspective. We have a potential seasonal play at hand. Notice that we have a bullish seasonal trade that starts on or around 12.18 with an approximate end date of around 12.29. So we're going to only looking to hold this thing for not even quite two weeks. The average profit over 10 years has been around $1,300 a contract. So with each point being $400, we're only looking for about three to three and a quarter point move there based on the average dollar profit of this trade. And you can see the year by year breakdown if you want to go back and look and see how this is done year by year. We've got some very modest losses here, about $250 there in 2012 and about $350 there in 2017. And we had this nice upward sloping equity curve if you would have taken this trade each year for the last 10 years on its suggested entry and exit date. So what we also want to see is kind of just put this more in perspective. From a 5, 15, and 30 year historical price basis, notice that prices typically bottom out at this time of the year. This is exactly where we are here in mid December, and we look to run it up right at the end of the year to the start of the new year, and we look to exit or take profits at that time. Now, you'll notice at, on the daily chart, we didn't quite get this, this trough down here, this bottoming out that we see on a 5, 15, and 30 year. It may have come a little early right here at the end of October, but now it looks like we're poised to break out after we've spent some time coiling it up. So we've got a high probability seasonal setup. We saw that it is, it has an 80% win rate over 10 years. Very good data there. Average holding time less than two weeks. Looking for an average profit of about $1,300. So what I'm watching is for a break out and close above the small trend line or outside of the triangle, however you want to look at it, a break and close and look for a retest to get that extra confirmation that we do hold these levels. That's where we can step in and buy cattle futures or buy call options or call spreads. Or if you like to sell options, you could come out here and sell puts. Just make sure you, you spread that out for a bull put spread. Remember, we're only looking for about three points there based on seasonality. So that'd be a move up from 114 to about 117, which would take us right here at near-term resistance where we can expect some pausing action. And then if you're trading multiple contracts, we'll look to run that up here to these highs around 123, 124, based off of this technical pattern alone, as well as favorable seasonality. So that's what we're watching on cattle. If you have any questions, reach out to us at support at seasonalswingtrader.com. Good luck, good trading. We'll see you in the next update.